Our Lauren Lennon joins us and from that boat ramp in North Charleston after speaking with the family's attorney. Lauren. Yeah, Colin and Lisa, so the mother of 20 year old Wright filed that lawsuit in the death of her son against the city of North Charleston, the State Department of Transportation and SC Department of Natural Resources. Now, their lawyer hopes that this lawsuit brings closure, but most importantly, answers. So many unanswered questions. Uh, so many things went wrong that should not have happened. Questions from nearly two years ago. This surveillance footage from November of 2022 shows what officials say was a stolen sedan. They say 20-year-old Savion Wright was driving the car. As far as we know, the events that happened that night are kind of foggy. We do know he knocked on the door of someone he mistakenly thought was someone he knew. Those people then, without knowing who he was, of course, they called the police. When the police came on the, car, on the scene, he was getting into his car leaving, uh, thinking possibly that the police may have been called on him. I'm sure he made an evasive maneuver, but just not knowing that it was a river at the end of a road. This footage taken moments before Wright drove off a boat ramp and into the Ashley River, where he then drowned. Now his mother is suing three government agencies she feels are responsible. We plan to find out several things. Who is ultimately responsible for the maintenance of the dock um, and what changes should have been made and what will be made in the future after this is resolved. We would like to see some repairs made to, to make it safe for the future. The lawsuit claims that Wright was lost and confused about his location and because the boat ramp was unmarked and unprotected, Wright was unable to see any dangerous conditions. The suit also claims that North Charleston police officers did not take any action to save him. We believe that when police, fire, EMS, anyone gets on the scene and they can do something to intervene to save someone's life that they are bound by common law and black letter law to do so. Uh, in this event here, we, we will show the jury and the, um, and the defense that, hey, listen, on your body cams, these guys are walking around looking for somebody who did something wrong. Not a victim, not someone who drowned. They can be heard saying, oh, he may have gone this way or that way, trying to evade them, not trying to make a rescue attempt to save someone's life. He was found less than 10 feet, I believe, from his car, drowned right there. Now, we did reach out to the three accused parties, and all three of them said they do not comment on petting litigation. Working for you in North Charleston, Lauren Lennon, News 4.